Hello, I am Professor Mashid Badin. Hi, I am Dr. Olivia Rwapukuna. In this short video, we intend to introduce the SOS, um, University of London School of Law, LLM module on law and development in Africa. Okay, the, the actual content of the module is divided into at least five um, main sections. Um, the first one in, includes the introduction of conceptual issues. So we deal with conceptual issues related to um, the law and development um, discussion within Africa, and these include engagements with um, traditional conceptions of law and development, the scope and limits of law and development, specifically um, from a critical perspective and with application to the African con context. And then we look at new approaches for law and development in Africa. Um, the second section looks at law and human development, and we engage with various topics of human development and the interaction with law in Africa. And the topics do vary depending on the year. Then the third section deals with law and social political development in Africa, and engages with various aspects, including governance, um, conflict and resource control, corporate social responsibilities, as well as civil society. Then the last two sections um, deal with law and economic development in Africa, and we deal with aspects of economic development and the engagement with law, including issues of trade, agriculture and technological advancements, corruption, and um, financial regulation in Africa. The last section is more explorative and looks at applications of law and development concepts um, within the African context, looking at the national application, regional application, as well as international applications of law and development initiatives, and how they've been employed um, on the African continent, and also how they've been deployed, and where the limitations and challenges lie. So basically, in short, that is the structure of the course, and um, we hope you will enjoy it. The module is a full-year module, and it has two elements of assessment. The first element of assessment is a 4,000-word essay, which is submitted at, uh, in the first term. Um, students will have an option of choosing a topic of their choice within the course by agreement with the lecturers, or alternatively, we'll give I mean, two uh, alternative questions which students can select from. And this is weighted 50% of the assessment. The second element of assessment is uh, taken at the end of the course, which is an exam, whereby students will write a three-hour exam. I mean, they'll be expected to answer three questions. I mean, they'll, uh, out of a selection of about between nine and ten questions, and this is also assessed at fifty percent of the of the assessment. Although during the um, seminar, students will also be expected to do some presentations. These are not assessed, so we hope you will enjoy the course. This is a very unique model which uh, conceptualizes uh, a specific law and development uh, uh, argument for Africa. It uh, engages and interrogates the traditional law and development discourse and tries to see how law can play a role in development in Africa. It challenges some of the traditional um, arguments in law and development. Um, the module will obviously be of interest to um, LLM students as well as MA students, um, those with an interest in development and law because it interacts with both. And um, I'm sure both groups will enjoy the module very much. We hope to see you next year. <laughs>